Okay, everybody, welcome back to Beer and Bread. We are going to continue baking and brewing. Bear in mind, folks, we are moving into the second year of the game. I already taught the basics of how the game works in the main run-through. So if you don't want to just jump in randomly, you might want to hit that eye in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes to go check out the main run-through first. Um, but if you are ready to continue our um, baking and bre- bearing journey, then welcome back to our villages. Okay, it is Jen being first player in the second year. And... She would like to start baking and brewing some stuff. She has a problem, though. All these cards she has in her hand require lots of water, and she only has one. Now, there is... Remember, she can swap stuff out in her hands for the things up here, but even those... Well, that one requires one water. I mean, so... I think, first of all, Jen's going to start out by um, getting... By harvesting some more, because she didn't harvest very much. Although it's going to be a bit painful. If she plays this to harvest, she can get a water, and she can get a rye, but she does not have room to store both of them. So she'd be throwing one away. But that would give her the two water she needs to brew this beer, as an example, and score seven points, etc., etc. But now there is a solution for that. Remember, I said, these cards up here are available also. And if we take a look at them, we can see this one has an upgrade of giving her more storage, as does that one. So if she were to play one of those as an upgrade first, she wouldn't have to throw anything away like I did uh, in the first year. Although, here's the deal. If Jen overproduces and has have room for stuff and has to give it to me, Bad timing, because I don't have any room for it either, so she won't have to worry about helping me too much. But Jen, she does not want to be wasteful. So she, first of all, she is going to swap one of the cards in her hand with one of these two cards, specifically so she can get the upgrade, so she can harvest the water, so she can brew the beer without having to be wasteful at all. I think that's her next few turns. So she knows this is the beer she wants to brew because she needs more water. Um, Which of these is she going to give up? Well, one thing she should do is she should pay attention to what do I have. Does she give up anything that would help me? I only have two water. All these require three water, so she's not too terribly worried about giving any of these away. But she'll give away the seven-pointer just in case it were to help. So she'll swap these two because she can see, hey, I might like to bake that bread. I could totally bake that bread. But Jen just swapped it. She um, now has to play this thing she swapped for, and she is going to play it as another upgrade, which means while upgrading, she could also clear out her shop, except her shop doesn't need clearing out. Now, she does not give these cards to me. Remember, in the good years, we play a a card from our hand and then give the rest to our opponent. In the bad years, we keep all our cards to ourselves. Okay, so that was Jen's turn. It is my turn, and I would like to brew some beer before I clear out. Are there, right, do I even have any beer? I have that beer and that beer. And this beer. And there's those two beers up there also. Now, can I brew any of these three beers right now with no upgrades? Well, I know I can do the one that I definitely set aside. The easy one. I you know I, I held on to this because I knew it would be an easy, but it's only four points. Can I do better? I've got, I can do this one. I've got two wheat, two water, and a barley. I can't do this one, though, because I do not have three water. So I can do this one, which is worth six points. What about those? That one is also six points, and I could do that. So I could do either of them. Let's just go on ahead and brew this beer. All righty, there goes two water, two wheat, and one barley. Okay, and I've just scored six points. Nice. All right, so I am, my total score is now five because I've made five points in bread and six points in beer. My worst score is my final score, all things being equal. Okay, so now I am finally going to do an upgrade and have a bonus of clearing out both of my shops at the same time, uh, as opposed to Jen, who's just upgrading willy-nilly. Okay, so Jen is going to uh, start doing stuff as well. Right, okay. Uh, oh, no. Oh no, wait a minute. Where's the thing that was going to let her harvest that water that she wanted? Did I? Ah! Okay, I was a dummy. I was a dummy. She needed this card to harvest the water. So this is not the card she gave up. She, I, I, there's a lot to think about. She gave up that card instead, let's say. Okay, fine. She gave up that card. She kept this card on her last turn because this is the one she wants to harvest with because uh, you can still harvest to get one water and one rye because she has extra storage. So she doesn't have to toss anything. Because now, now if she harvested uh, and she didn't have room, she would have to give me stuff. So now Jen is ready for her big uh, brewing action, right? Yes, she is. Okay. Um, Back to me. 
back to my turn. And so finally, it's time to get an upgrade. And some new cards showed up in my hand. Let's see. So this one, I can hold an additional right. So I could actually bake bread twice before having to clear it out because I can't beer or bake anything now until I do an upgrade. And there might come a time later where I want to bake, but I don't want to waste my time doing upgrades. I've got all the upgrades I need, but I need to do that to clear stuff out. This means I could go longer without having to spend those turns getting those upgrades that I may or may not need. Wow, I've got two of the same upgrade. I've also got this one, which is another in game. At the end of the game, if I've sold at least one card for each of the three types of bread, did you notice there's different types? types of bread art, folks. Look at that loaf versus that loaf. If I can do all three types of bread, I will get two extra coins towards my beer or my bread. So that is a guaranteed two points. And this is not a high scoring game. So that's pretty cool. It doesn't help me in the meantime, but it definitely gives me a target at the end. And this one upgrades my harvesting. Whenever the other player collects water, I get water as well. Oh man, I like all... Well, I definitely... I don't think I need to, uh, you know, in increase my baking capacity. I like both of these. Which one am I going to do? Which one am I going to do? I think I want to give myself that goal. So this one slides over here. It's not going to help me at all, but this is two points if I can b brew or bake the other two types of bread. This type and... Let's see, do we see an example of the other type? We don't see an example of the other type anywhere, but I got to keep an eye out for it, and I've got a very specific goal in mind. Okay, so that was my turn, and I can now clear these out. And now these are supposed to sit over here, face down. Um, you know, actually off the page. I'm just going to leave them up here. So everybody can see how many beer and how many bread I have baked and brewed, but nobody knows what my points are because we'll tally those up at the end of the game. Of course, I can go back and look and try to remember. I'm going to need to look because I'm trying, I now have this goal of trying to get particular types of bread. Okay, back to Jen. She is finally going to get on the board with some points. She is going to brew this beer. All righty. And that requires two water. The water can come back here because there's infinite water, but I uh, should put that water back as well. Uh, but the other stuff goes back to supply. So one hops, one barley, one wheat, and the two water. Okay, boom. That is seven points to her. Okay, uh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, and now back to me, back to my turn. I've got three more cards. I could start harvesting because I'm, I, I, I see, I still got some stuff though. Could I actually pull off, now that my space is clear again, I could start producing again. And I know I want to produce this bread or this bread. But remember, I can't do all bread. I got to brew beer as well. But, I mean, while unique beer is out, maybe I should take advantage of that. Let's see. Although those are both big. This is a nine-pointer. That's an eight-pointer. And now here's the thing. If I say use this to harvest right now, in the in the uh, plentiful years, whatever you use to harvest, those become part of your hand in the next year. Not so in the lean years. Jen is not going to hold on to this card. This card is going to go away at the end of this year. If I harvest with this, it'll go away at the end of the year. So... I do not see a way that I could, before the year is out, get another um, uh, either of these beer, breads I want to. They're both going to go away. Um, but to water, I have the hops, I have the barley. I could get this little baby beer done, potentially, if I can get myself some water. Uh, toot sweet. Toot, toot sweet. Mm. And I mean, I've got, so I could play, I could harvest with both of these. Let's do it. Let's just, uh, let's try and get some more stuff done. I'm going to harvest. And that gives me a water and a barley. Okay. Boom. And that was my turn. And now it is Jen's turn. So she cannot brew any more beer. She can bake some bread. Uh, or she could harvest some more. Or she could give herself another upgrade and clear this out. So she's ready to brew more. Hmm. Ooh. Jen likes this. Jen's going to give herself another upgrade. Which is whenever she harvests, in the same way that if she gets if she harvests wheat, she gets more wheat. Now, if she harvests barley, she gets more barley as well. So those are just gonna set her up and she clears this out as the one thing that she has done so far. Okay, fine. Uh, my turn again. I'm gonna harvest some more. And that gives me two water, two barley, and oh no! I'm out of space again. I have to give Jen something. No, I am way overloaded. So I have to give Jen two and she's got plenty of storage for it. No, what have I done? 
Well, we're all friendly here in this wonderful, charming little uh, valley. So, um, what am I going to give away to Jen now that I've got all this stuff? Um, well, actually, now that I've got all this stuff, maybe I could I go for a bigger one of these? <gasps> could I actually bake that super bread? I've got three water. Oh my gosh, I could. I pulled it off. Okay, so... Um, Right, I need to keep everything for that. I've got the three water, I've got the two barley, I've got the one wheat and the rye. So, I will, um, let's see. Here's the thing, I'm inclined to give her wheat and barley because these are implicitly less valuable for her because she can get them on her own. So she's like, oh, thanks for stuff I can already overflow with. So I'll give her those two extra. I could have given her anything, but I'm saving this for that. And because I know it's so easy for her to get wheat, she won't be quite as excited about me giving her wheat and barley. Okay, so that was that. Jen's final turn for the second year. She could harvest. She could upgrade. She certainly cannot brew this beer because she does not have enough water. Um, and she cannot turn wheat into water, unfortunately. She can, she's such a great baker that she can use wheat in place of other types of grains, but no, the wheat will not, um, you know, make that water or make that beer drinkable. But here's the thing. If she uses this to harvest, she'll get two more wheat, um, you know, that's because she gets the extra. She'll get another rye. One, two, three. She has enough space. Oh no, she'll get two rye. So she won't have enough space to store all this. But here's the thing. She will have um, four wheat on hand, which is a stand-in for two of any other thing, that would give her so much flexibility for baking bread going into the next year if she were to harvest these things. Um, although, if she doesn't want to, she could swath them out with other stuff and harvest other stuff as well. Although what she'd like to harvest is water, and there's no water harvesting up there. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. She could do all that, or... She could just take this as an upgrade. So she's going to do that. She's got, I've got a way to score extra points. So does Jen. Every two bread that she does gives her another point for bread. So uh, she wants to do at least two bread. And I mean, effectively, every bread she bakes is worth uh, extra half a point, provided she does an equal, uh, an equal number of them. All right. So she went for that. That was it. And now my last turn, I'm not going to brew this beer. I'm going to swappy swap and bake this delicious bread. Alrighty, I've got the three water. I've got the wheat, I've got the barley, and I've got the rye. Boom, 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 boom. And that is eight points for me. Okay, although I've got a problem. I've got way more beer baked than I do have uh, brew. I mean, so if I do really great in uh, bread, but I don't do well in beer, my beer score will be my final score. Although, I mean, I remember I could apply these two points to my beer score as well. So that was my final turn. Now, at the end of the second year, the cards that we harvested with, Gonsville. A uh, buh bye We move on to the next year. We look to see who has the most stuff in storage. That's Jen, which means I get the windmill. I have less stuff to keep track of, so I have more time to be first player. We get our new hand of five cards. And we start year three. So we are a third of the way through the game and zipping right along. And all of a sudden, I've got a ton of new opportunities. First of all, do I have that other type of beer, bread? No, I do not. Oh, and by the way, these are gone too. Those uh, only in the lean years do we have that reserve. Because, uh, you know, all the other towns, we all got to stick together so you can uh, collaborate with towns from a nearby valley, let's say. Right, so unfortunately, I've got two of the three types of bread that I want to do. So both of these bread are dead to me. Um, but, I mean, I need to start working on uh, beer as well. But I also... These are all very cool upgrades. I could do multiple beers uh, you know, in a row without having to clean out. Whenever I collect hops, I get um, extra hops, etc., etc. But you know what? I mean... Uh, Jen's gone heavy into upgrades. Those are going to help her, but I could just... I'm doing pretty well not hardly upgrading at all. How about we just get back to work? How about we just start getting ready? Um, because if I'm going to start making some beer, I'm going to need some water. So any of these... And look at this. Let's go on ahead and harvest with that. Because that will give me... Oh, whoops. Oh, before I forgot, though, at the beginning of the year, we had to uh, restock the fields. We're in a plentiful year, so there should be seven wheat. So here's three more. There should be eight barley. One, two, three. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And then uh, six rye. 
and six hops. Okay, things are good. I'm going to go harvest some of that good stuff. There's a one and a one and a one. And I just want to get a lot of water so that I can start brewing some beer. So I hand the rest of those to Jen. Okay, fine and dandy. Jen says, well, here's a whole bunch of new opportunities. A whole new world. New fantastic beer and bread. Oh, here's the other type of bread. Now, here's the thing. Jen knows I want this. Jen can, I mean, if Jen's paying attention to what I'm doing, she knows I want this third type of bread very badly. I would totally take this and, um, you know, harvest with it so that I could hopefully get it baked in the fourth year so I can get the two points. Let's say Jen is actually paying attention. She can see that bread. She remembers I did that other bread. She's not going to give me this bread. There is no way. So these are the cards she's given me. She's either going to take this as an upgrade, which says, hey, at the end of the seeding phase, get a hops. So this would give Jen one, two, three hops. If she'd had this in the first year, it would have given her five hops. So she can take that for an upgrade. She could try to bake it, except she can't. She has no water. So she's going to harvest with it. And I'm like, no, I wanted that. No. I can see that she did that. And she says, yeah, you're not harvesting that on my watch. So she gets that and she gets that. And she's almost full. Uh, she has one more storage space. Okay. And then she handed me the rest of this. Although, wait a minute. She handed me another one. Okay, cool. Well, I'm, st I'm still good. I Actually, I, she didn't look through her entire hand. She had several of these. But still, she needed the water to be able to bake or brew pretty much. So... I want this. And actually, this is a pretty easy one to make, too. Two wheat, two barley, one... Yeah, I could actually maybe get this done this year. Although, here's the deal. If I don't do something with this right now, it goes back to Jenny. You better believe she's going to gobble it up. And I don't have what it takes to do it right now, so I'm going to harvest with it. Although, it doesn't make for a particularly useful harvest, unfortunately. I'm just doing this so I can bank this card and not give it back to Jen. So, I get another hops, and I get two rye, and I'm almost out of space. And I'm really not setting myself up to be able to make much beer with all of this, but I kind of have to do it. Oh man, that is painful. I don't have to. I mean, we've still got half the game. Chances are I'll get another chance to bake that kind of bread. Hmm. Yeah. And I mean, I really need to be making room for, I mean, I, I can't pick up any water. If I try to harvest more stuff, I'm going to be giving Jen so much. Although Jen doesn't have room for it right now. We're both so overloaded in this time of plenty. Uh, let's see. I mean, I mean, there is a beer that you can... I mean, maybe I'll get this back and I'll be able to brew it with just one water. I'll do it. I'll do it. And I hand these back to Jen. And then Jen says, right, okay, what do we got here? Show me what you got. All right, so Jen's got a problem too. She's almost out of space. She wants to bake some bread though. She's already done some beer. Although this is beer, beer. All right, okay. So she could go for this one. She has the water. She has the barley. She has the rye. Yeah, Jen's going to bake. Jen's here to bake bread and take names, and she's all out of names. Um, and chew bubble gum. I messed that into, up entirely. Shoot, shoot, shoot. All right, there we go. So Jen's going to bake some bread. It requires one water, three rye, and um, one barley. That is not a bread I would enjoy. I am not a fan of rye bread myself, but I'm sure somebody out there likes it because it is worth six points. So there we go. And so now Jen says, hey, overproduce. Fill my empty larder. Okay. So we swap again. Uh, this comes back to me. And, oh, can I do this one? No, I can't. Not that I even want to do this bread because I'm already over. I, there's only one more bread I want to do. Maybe a couple. Um, uh, right. So, and if I harvest to get more water so I can make some beer. But remember, I'm hoping that other beer comes back to me that I could brew with only a single water. Right? I'm hoping for that. We'll see. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to bank on that. Because if I do this then I am making two water and two wheat, which is four. And I'd only, so I would have to give Jen three things. If I harvest anything right now, there is no way. I mean, we're friendly villages and all that, but I'm not giving her three resources in her freshly depleted larder. So either I'm going to make one of these things or I'm going to give myself another upgrade, thereby cleaning out my shop. So at the end of the seeding phase, collect the barley. That's nice. That's three free barley. Um, whenever you uh, brew or beer, you can treat wheat as as um, barley or treat barley as wheat as often as you like. That's kind of cool. Or uh, what was the other one? The other one was uh, whenever you collect a uh, 
thing. Uh, a hops, get an additional hops. So I take one of these three things. Right. I'm going to take an upgrade. Which one of these do I want? You know what? How about just some free resources? Free resources are always nice, right? That'll come in handy. Um, right. So where's that go? That goes into my harvest section. Although... Uh, it's not my harvest section. This is actually at the end of seeding. It's basically, uh, I, I'm just going to put these here as a reminder. Don't forget, I get free barley every year. Um, that's just a visual reminder to me. There's nothing in the rules about doing that. Just, there's a lot going on here, folks. I'm going to have a very easy time forgetting things. Okay, so Jen's turn. What is she going to do? Right. She can't make any of these. She has no water. So she'd probably like to start harvesting some water and get some extra stuff. So she can use either of these for harvest, getting a second water. And, oh, yeah, let's do this one. Boom. All right, so she's handing me these. So that gives her two water, one, two wheat, and an extra. Ah, why am I doing that? No, the wheat comes from here. Ah, all right, so two water and then an extra wheat. So Jen is almost full, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay, cool, cool, cool. So uh, there we go, she hands the rest back to me, and I'm like, yes, it happened, I can do it. I'm gonna brew some beer. That's what I'm doing over here. All righty, one, two, three, four. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And bye, bye, bye. Okay, boom. And uh, that was it for me. And then I hand this to Jen. And then Jen says, hmm, oh, why did I let that happen? I should have been paying attention. Jen does not have three water, so she can't brew either of these beers, even though her brewery is wide open. So she can't make either of these things. She's out of space. Now she knows uh, in the next year, she'll be able to brew this beer, which is worth five points because she has enough water for that. So she doesn't want to harvest anything either because she's not, I mean, unless you were to Harlan harvest one thing, all she's doing is helping me. So she's not going to harvest. She's not going to brew. So she's going to give herself another upgrade. Um, hey, how about whenever she gets hops, she gets additional hops. Yeah, let's just stick to that. Whenever she basically now gets any type of grain, she gets an extra grain. Okay, so she hands me that. This is the last card. And um, let's go on ahead and harvest. All right, because I got room. So I get two water, two hops, and that's it. All righty. So I didn't overflow. Fine. These are three cards I'll have going into the next year, including that sweet, sweet bread I need to go for my objective. And Jen says, hey, I could totally bake this bread, except I can't. Oh, yes, I can. Jen just did an upgrade. This got cleared out. All right. So uh, in theory, we're all tied up. We've both done one beer and one bread apiece, although not all beer and bread is created equal. So Jen could bake this now because she cleared that out, which would take the water. And uh, although, oh man, um, if she uses an upgrade, you have two more storage units just for water. And she would never overflow again, very unlikely, for the rest of the game. <sighs> oh, Jen wants this upgrade. Because we still have half the game to go. And you've seen... I mean, yeah, Jen's going to take it. So now, Jen has room only for water. She has room for other stuff. So Jen um, can store 12 items. So Jen says, overproduce, buddy. Bring it to me. And don't forget, these are all wild um, grains. Because these could be t uh, any of these pears could be turned into hops or barley. So Jen has set up a massive um, infrastructure for herself. Whereas, um, But she's made some weak stuff. Uh, no, a 7 and a 6. That's not bad. Whereas me, I've made a 5 and a 6. Not really better, but I do have this locked in place. And um, we're going to go on to the next year. It's another lean year. Don't forget... I get a freebie every time, thanks to that upgrade. Alrighty, we need um, three more wheat. Oh, wow. All that barley that we didn't um, harvest. Oh, no. Uh, presumably some other town took it. Let's say it's not quite such a sad story. And then we need one more hop. All right. And uh, who has the least resources? Actually, wait a minute. So I've got nine. Jen's got nine. So we're tied. Uh, it just switches hands in that case. We get these to, into our hands. We draw up to five. Three, four, five, three, four. And in the odd years, there are we can collaborate with the towns in the next valley over. All righty. Boom. 
And Jen goes first. She, uh, I need to do an upgrade to clear this stuff out so that I can actually work. Hmm. All right. And what does Jen have? She has a lot of options, a lot of opportunities. She, what was her thing? Oh, yeah. She, she wants to do either two or four or six bread to get the most use out of this. But she does have water. She could start brewing beer right now. Um, yeah, I mean, like, for instance, she could brew this beer. She has the two water. She needs three barley. She could just use this uh, six as three barleys. This gives her so much flexibility. Um, right. Right, right, right. And Jen knows she doesn't have to keep this bread from me because she knows I did end up snagging one anyway. She saw it when I harvested. So what is Jen going to do next? A lot of options, more upgrades. But I think she's done upgrading until she actually makes some stuff. And again, harvesting in the lean years isn't quite as good because you don't get to keep those cards like you do in the bountiful years because times are tough. So Jen figures she should start getting to work. Um, and don't forget, she has access to those as well. Oh man, she's a lot of water for that. Let's see, if she uses that water to... Um, all right, I mean, she doesn't want to go overboard. I mean, she'd rather use these for their actual intended... Wow! Oh wait, could she pull that off? Could she do this eight-point bread? One water. Um, for No, she would just need one more rye to be able to do this by turning those into... Yeah, she'd have three. She'd have the four. She'd have one rye. She'd need one more rye. So she can't quite do that one. Wow, that's a big one, though. She certainly can't do that because that needs a lot of water. But she could do this. She can't quite... Oh, this is the same... Or could she do this one? No, she can't quite do that one either. Wow, she's got so much stuff. And she's just right on the edge, but she can't quite do these things. So is she going to spend some time harvesting to try to get a seven-pointer instead of like a five-pointer or whatnot? Again, this is not a high-scoring game. Every bit counts. So Jen's got an interesting decision to make. What is she going to do? Folks, I'm not quite sure, but I think that's where I'm going to stop. Because by now, you've seen a little bit of everything that beer and bread has to offer. And if you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that eye in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in five, four, three. Two, one.